Happy Monday, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a great weekend. I am Sweet Bobby. Welcome in to the program. All right. <clears throat> Which actually is a live trading program where I'm the only one probably anywhere that shows you, um, you know, how much money I'm losing or making and is truthful about it. And the cool thing is, even the ones that show you like their statements and stuff, y'all, that little graph that I've seen before, I mean, that thing is, it is unreliable, it really is. So the best thing to do is to show like net lead. So the only thing I could show you, let's see, if I showed you all two of these accounts, well, there's three actually <coughs> that I've got linked up here. Let me just show you this. I think I could show you this without, yeah. <clears throat> So the net lick here is $130,000. Now, one of those is a little $2,000 account that has no positions in. I should put a position in on a good old down day. So we'll see. So welcome in. <clears throat> Market is, y'all, here's what I, it's bipolar. It really doesn't know what it wants to do. It has no idea. So we are caged in by the overnight high. Y'all see that, how that is off, that, that is really a good point of resistance for the day. Got the opening 15 minute range. Here's where we open. And we're above VWAP, uh, the hourly mid band. And AD is anemic at negative 28. What's really interesting is looking at the volume, though. The volume is elevated a little bit than what we normally see on our little two minute chart. So a lot of people in there today. Maybe everybody's, you know, back from the Hamptons and and the uh, Martha's Vineyard and all that stuff. And so we're back to trading full time. Now, interesting thing, you would think the market would be bullish because the president said that the pandemic is over. He has declared it. And so it shall be. So the pandemic is over. And uh, he has a really, really good grasp on inflation because it's only up an inch. If y'all watched 60 Minutes last night. Well, inflation's only up an inch, y'all. So when Sweet Bobby goes to the grocery store while I go, to get me, can y'all see my ham? My, this is turkey sandwich. I have turkey sandwich that I've not quite eaten yet. This turkey, which Beth says doesn't even taste like turkey, was $5.49 for this, this meat. Compared to the higher price brand that was seven something, I go, $7 for that little pack of turkey? Are you kidding me? So I bought the cheap brand and Beth took a bite of it a while ago. The dog won't even eat it. And here I am just eating it like it was, you know, just nourishment, baby. Nourishment. Got to keep myself going. So everything's high, but it's only up an inch. So, you know, hey, get over it, people. Get over it, you serfs, you uh, you servants. Uh, just enjoy your uh, life. Be glad that you can buy turkey, right? That's what we got to do. So let's see what, uh, what's happening today with our little accounts. Oh, let's look at our, we call, we call the uh, Big Green Monster. Isn't it amazing how these levels just work, work, work? Well, Bobby, you've got them drawn so everywhere that they're going to work. No, I know. So it's trying to make itself, its mind up if it's fairly priced or if it is. See the little area of contention? Are we fairly priced down here or are we overbought? So as I'm looking at this, this looks to me like a bearish chart. This is, this is bearish. Always with the understanding our primary thesis is that market could go down from here. That's what I'm expecting. But if it doesn't, it's going to fill these gaps and go, you know, this is even a bigger point of attraction because our point of control is here and our 100% line on our big green monster. So this is a really big magnet and you see the fight that's going on. It's trying to decide, but overall I've got to go with, you know, what I've been taught and what I've seen. And this is a fairly bearish chart primary thesis. All right, so let's go to what you call the, uh, this thing you hear, the linear regression. You remember just a few days ago, we were pointing downward. We are now pointing upward. What does this mean? Not much, I don't think. I still think the bear market is intact. I think the recession is still intact. We should go down. So this indeed is still bearish in my opinion. So bear, 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 bear. But it means nothing. It's just speculation. So let's go to what do you call the little accounts here. See if we can see if we're up or down today. Nine, 19, 22. God, can y'all believe that? We're almost to Thanksgiving and Halloween, all those fun little holidays. 
Christmas. Uh, what's the thing that Jewish people do? Hanukkah, all that fun stuff. All right, so we are at 2607, 3.18. Praise the Lord Jesus. Well, we are moving on up, baby. Yeah, we're moving on up. Let's go to the other account, and it is, oh, behave. I may have to play it twice. 4, 6, 8, 4, 35. Praise the Lord. I mean, we're up $777.77. Yeah, we're moving on up. We're moving on Let's take our groups off. God, they don't make shows like the Jeffersons anymore. I mean, just, you know, you couldn't have... Archie Bunker and the Jeffersons today, could you? I mean, everybody would be all upset. Oh, can you believe they said? Unbelievable. Let's laugh, people. Have a little fun. 39.16 is our Greeks. Go get it to the Greeks and ratios. 39.16. Uh-oh. Bobby. Bobby. It gives me red. Why? Because our maximum positive deltas is 39. We are a little bit too, too long, right? Now, what does that mean? Well, we'll go over it. Is that a cat or a rat? Unbelievable. All right, theta is 45.77. 45.77. My cat. Hey, great cat. What are you doing up here? You hate me. All right, so our theta is what we call sufficient, baby. We want it to be 0.1% minimum. And this one is 0.18. We don't want to go over 0.25, courtesy of Ed. The VIX is 26. Ed, did you get your T-shirt? The Trader Nerd shirt? I did, um, Bobby. Well, are you sporting it today, Ed, or what? What do you do? I doing? am sporting it. Well, let's see, baby. Let's see how the shirt looks. Woo! Oh, let's see. Oh, look at that. Trade naked, baby. It's a Trader Nerd thing. It looks good. You got you to gotta watch. I had to beat Beth off of me. She was like, you sexy stuff. What's that? You're going to have to beat Mama off because, you know, women yeah. go crazy over the Huh? Yeah, it's good. This could be a real problem. Beth was like, Bobby, you look so good. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. My, my wife loved the t-shirt, but I'm not sure it's going to make a difference for me personally. That old gal, we've got a gal that works in our merchandising department. Doesn't that make us sound big? And guess what her last name is? I told Ed this the other day. The girl that works in our merchandising to make our little trader nurse stuff, her last name is Vega, y'all. Now, how cool is that? Vega, 5148. Now, let's put that in. 5148 is our buying power. So, we got green, we got green, and we got red. What do it mean? Now, all of y'all don't have the spiffy diffy uh, spreadsheet with all the stuff that will be available to you in January because we're testing it now. But, what do you do? Should I open a new trade or not? No, heavens no. Why would you? Because your theta is sufficient. And your buying power is a little bit too, or not buying power, but your delta is a little bit too, you know, I'm above 39. So everything looks really good, but there's no need to put a trade in because I have sufficient theta. No need to put extra risk on. Now, let's see if the decision tree says that in fact. So we'll say market is down a little bit today. Do I make an opening trade? No. Okay, let me take these out. So it's okay. So no. All right. Do I close a trade? Hmm. Well, it says, hey, listen, Bob, do you have any profitable trade? You are the worst trade. You suck. It should say, you suck, Bob. I bet you don't have a profitable trade, do you? That's what it should say. Well, let's go see if we got anything profitable today. So go back, show my groups. Negative. Well, hell. Well, 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 hell, well, ladies. $43, that'll buy like two packs of, of turkey. 76% yo behave. So look at there, y'all. 32 days to go. That looks good. Looks really good, actually. All right, so let's go back to the things and let's answer our question. Okay. Uh, do you have a profitable trade? Answer yes or no, big stuff. All right, so yes. And it says, close the largest percentage winner. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I am obedient. 
I will do as I am told. So what do we do? Well, we take this off. Ding, 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 ding. Bobby, what if it makes my theta go below? I don't care. I'm not going to look at it till tomorrow. I'm going to look at this one day. We are creating training systems for the factory workers and the cubicle workers who can do this during their lunch. We ain't got all day to watch the markets. We've got to go to the Piggly Wiggly and buy $7 packs of turkey and $5 packs of whole wheat bread. So now I got to go buy two of the 3480s. Two of the 3480s. Let's go get it. Let's go get it, get it, got it, got it. Two of the 3480s. And if you have a Piggly Wiggly, make sure you use the Piggly Wiggly app because I saved like $3 today by using the app. I was like, man, I am the stuff of champions. Oh, by the way, don't forget, if you are a Hello Ladies person in our premium membership or you are a Muscadine Mafia, we're going to talk about growing your network, simple steps, amazing results today at 1 Eastern, right after our little session today. I'm going to try to break in time so I can finish my $7 turkey sandwich, and we will uh, have another session. It's going to be fun. Ed's going to tell us how he made all the money. He's going to give us a, a rundown on his on his assets. So we're doing this for a 275 credit. All right, so we got a credit, 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 1963. Let's see if we can get filled here. And fill me, baby. Feel me. Do 50. Do 50. Let's get feel. This should feel. This should. This should feel. Gag it. Let's do it one more time. Y'all making me look bad in front of my family and friends. 225. Look, it's only taking me down about a dollar every time I move it. So it's not that, but this should feel. I see it. Yeah. Unbelievable. Whew. Just when the pandemic is over and inflation is gone, and I can't even get a feel. And if I don't feel, I'm going to scream. Am I doing something wrong? What am I doing? I, I think you're going the wrong way, Bobby. I think you ought to be going Well, the praise, way praise the Lord Jesus. Let's, I'm sorry. Let me just cancel it. You think I got the things wrong? What? Let's say I'm buying that one. Hold on a minute. Well, it well it, it says it's offering for three dollars and you're offering for two. Oh, so it's a debit. You, oh, I thought it was. A, I thought it was doing it no, as a credit. Yeah, it, okay, it's a right. debit. All right, let's catch or replace. I was doing it as a credit, and I was trying to do less credit. You're right. So it's a debit. So I got to pay more. Y'all see how we work together as a group? And it's awesome. Rick is like that sensei dude. He's like, you remember? Look at that. That is amazing. Rick's like the last Star Wars movie I saw where Luke Skywalker was old and he's got, not that you're old, Rick, but he's got, he's wearing the thing up on the mountain, the little robe and everything. I'm like, that is cool. That is, that is our sensei. All right, here we go. I got someone at the gym that calls me their sensei. I think he's just joking, but it makes me feel good. Hello, sensei. I'm like, hello, child. How are you? All right, so here we go. 325 on the 11250. 325 on the 11250. Let's get finding. Come here, little baby. 11250. Look at us taking risk off, y'all. We like stuff. 11250. There we go. 325 debit. Mm hmm. So, what, Beth? Yeah. Uh, you need to leave, Beth. I'm in my class, and you are. Isn't there something that needs to be scrubbed? Huh? <laughs> in the crap are y'all doing? Ed, is that you? Did you, Ed just fell in the floor? <laughs> the like devil. I guess so. Let me mute everybody. Unbelievable. Either that or Ed's wife threw him in the floor. Jeez, the hey, and Bobby, you have the wrong exit date. It's the 19th oh. today. Thank you, Sensei. Sensei Rick. Oh, wait a minute. What the crap is wrong? Rick, I can't. It's, uh oh, what happened? Oh, hold on. If that ever happens, just hit the back button. There we go. All right, here we go. Whew. I did take my Adderall today, and I think I'm not, I don't know, it's been a while. So I think that's why I'm not as focused as I normally am. 919, 2949. Beth, 
Head to Neiman Marcus, baby. We got twenty nine dollars and forty nine cents. Beth don't even know what Neiman Marcus is, and neither do I. Wouldn't know how to find one. All right, twenty nine forty nine. So let's save this. Let's get our little profit calendar. Twenty nine forty nine. Now, here's where twenty. Here's where Ed would go back, and Ed would go back and redo his Greeks for the day. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just wait till tomorrow. You ain't a full time trader. Go back to tomorrow. Go out, get you a walk, you know, walk a dog, get you one of the little bags, pick up the poo after they poo. You know. Yeah, Bobby, I actually had a discussion with someone who said I shouldn't. Wrong day. Yeah, go ahead. I shouldn't fiddle with my Greeks. I'm like, I'm going to set them in the morning and then leave them alone no matter what the trade does for the day. Exactly. Because I do want the analysis information. You know, I want to be able to look back and be able to judge that correctly and I don't want to taint it. Yeah. So, and that's exactly what I would do, right? Don't overdo it. Y'all don't overthink it. Keep this stuff simple. The simpler you make it, you, if you'll ever remember how much I love Karen and Super Trade. Karen said, the simpler I made it, the more successful I got. So I'm with you. So we made $170, $180. So I need to fix this. I need to fix all this car. But anyway, you see what we're doing today. So we made $29.49. Now, why don't we take a little visit? over to the what do you call weekly premium tab which is always kind of cool and we built some new stuff in this right so we are at 63 percent premium capture so that means if i collect a dollar in premium when i sell something i'm going to keep 63 percent of it and i know what you're saying hey bob that's better than tasty trade i know they say close the thing when it gets to 50 percent right well, on average, we're keeping more than that. We're keeping 63% because we got that little kicker. So it's kind of cool, right? So we're projecting that we're going to make $5,000 in profits, or we're at a 20% return. Um, projected weekly profit is $98. So we did $30 today. So if we did that a couple times this week, we'll be fine. Uh, we've sold $6,000 in premium. We kept $3,800 of that in profits. We're averaging 20 days in the trade. Every time we put on a trade, we're averaging $63.70. Let me look at something. That's driving me crazy. Average of micros and then and then no tip. Yeah. Um, again, we're at 19%. Our win rate, right? We are the Muhammad Ali of traders, y'all. We don't lose often. We win 93% of the time. And every trade that I put on has a positive expectancy. Does your strategy have positive expectancy? Most people don't know because we don't track that type of thing. So now this is the new thing that we've added to the spreadsheet that keeps up with our positive expectancy. So basically it takes all the average of your winners times your win rate and subtracts from that the average of your losers times your loss rate. And that comes up with a positive expectancy of the trade. So every time I put on a trade, I expect to make $42.11. Well, Bobby, why don't you put on a million trades? Well, you can't because you're taking too much risk. Right? It'd be great to say, man, I'm going to put one on every day. You can. We just don't want to blow the old count up. right? You know, if we can get a 20% return, that's pretty good, um, uh, you know, how we're doing here. We're just doing it really, really safe. Now, if you're a big wheeler and you want to take more risk, you knock yourself out. Change your parameter. You can say, man, I'm going to go 50% on my count. And that's what... Tom and Tony are doing on that big dog's account. They initially started with 50% uh, buying power. You know, I'm a little more cautious, right? I'm a little more cautious. Don't want to use 50%, but those of you that want to use 50%, knock yourself out. Knock that theta up to 0.5 instead of 0.25. Like we got to take extra risk. Um, you know, you, you could get hurt, though. Just keep that in mind. We try to do things really, really safe here. Really, really safe. All right, let's go to the, how shall we say, the other account. See what we're doing there. Take our groupies off. Groupie, groupie. I need to call Thinkorswim. Remember I told them the other day, do you know who I am? And they were like, no, not really. Are you the guy that's down like $10,000 or so? Oh, yeah. That's They're like, oh, yeah, we know you. We talk about you while we're in the bathroom. All right, so let's go over here. Uh, our deltas are 140.74. Let's see how that looks. Mm -hmm. 140.74. We went to the Longhorn yesterday. No adjustment, y'all. I could be as high as 152. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So that's 
So it gives me a green, 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 green. Went to the Longhorn yesterday. And since everybody was ordering steaks, I was like, I am not going to pay for all this. So I had to tone it down. I got the chop steak, or as we say here in Georgia, the hamburger steak. It was good. Had a little mushroom gravy and onions on it. It was really good. All right, our theta is 175. It was for my daughter's birthday. And uh, she's 18, so we went there. That would, normally, I wouldn't spend that much. We we would probably max out at Applebee's. What did I say that was? 175. 175, 61. All right, so we're at 0.17. I like it. We want that to be 0.1, 20.25. So we've got green, green grass of home, green, green grass of home. We've got a VIX at 26. And my buying power usage is 26144. 26144. And I've only got, let's see how much longer I've got in Facebook, Jill. I am only, and if y'all are trying to message me or send me something on Facebook, I cannot respond because I've been Facebook jail for three days. And, and that is almost coming to an end. Let me try to lock something that'll tell me I can't do that because I have is restricted for one more hour before I get out of Facebook jail. Why did I get in Facebook jail? Because I said I kidnapped my son and took him out to Japanese on Friday. And the stupid idiots, because I had the word kidnapped in there, I'm like, Beth, and we looked up Webster's Dictionary thing, and maybe it does mean it was wrong. But so today, I'm going to take pictures of my kids when they go to sleep. I'm going to say, look at my kid. He napped today and see if they'll, you know, I'll use them as two words and see if they'll put me back in jail. All right, what are we doing? Okay, so green, 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 y'all. Green, green, green. Does everybody see? Now, market's down, so let's go over here and see, what's, uh, see what the little thing says. Is the market down? It says, well, do you make a new trade? Uh, yeah. Yes, Tubby, you do. Why? Market's down, and it says, let's make sure it's still, still down, though. Let's go to the charts. Oh, yeah, 0.22, we'll take that as down. What's your definition of down? You may say that's flat. I'm going to say it's down. I'm going to put some more risk on it. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to go one, one, one today. And let's bring in the other account. What are y'all checking out? Sweet Bobby equals, so what is that picture of? Is that an old person with gray hair? What the hell is that? Yeah, what the devil is that? Yeah. I said, this account's doing good, y'all. Now, I want to tell you a little something. I had a little, little problem with Thinkorswim. I mean, with Tasty Works on Friday. So I was trying. You remember I had these options? Let me just show you. Remember I had these options that were uh, expiring, you know? So, dude, I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm trying to close out my futures. I had some futures options that were going to be in the money. And it wouldn't let me close them. It kept, it, it kept giving, me, giving me an error. I'm like, what the heck? I'm trying to close this. So I said, screw it. And I thought that I'd wake up today, you know, long or short of future. And y'all need to check this if you go and think anything gets in money, but I'm not. So I don't know what exactly happened. Uh, they wouldn't close it. Maybe they closed it for me. I don't know. Maybe they closed it. I didn't, but I'm not short or long a future today. So, you know, so some of these I've got that are going uh, 11 days. And remember, this is the one that I'm kind of eyeballing. I'm not using specifics on this one. I'm just kind of eyeballing. And I got to say, this count is doing sweet, baby. Sweet. It's doing really well. All right, let's go put on some 111, shall we? Oh, oh, be hey. We've got a 60 day. That's where we like to go. Let's go to 60, do a long put vertical. Oh, I'm an angel. Oh, yeah, I'm an angel. All right. So, speaking of angels, so we missed Sunday school last week. We missed church. And I feel bad because I was like, I was just exhausted. And so, we, the whole family didn't go last week. Plus, it was homecoming at the church, which means everybody and their mama that ain't never been there in a while has been there. And I'm, I just don't like crap. I'm not a big crowd guy. Right? I just like, mm, I don't want to say all these things. And then they had a potluck afterwards. And I don't eat like from people that I don't know because people are nasty, y'all. I mean, just nasty. They're nasty at restaurants a lot of times. I just don't want to know. But it's like, you know, you go to church with some people and you look over there and you go, if they cook something, ain't no way 
that I'm, you know, they didn't wash their hands or they scratching their butt before they, you know, making the macaroni salad. And I'm like, I just, mm -mm, I just can't do that. So I had brought up several weeks ago when our new church season started that I was going to, you know, I said, what do y'all think about naming our Sunday school class instead of 40 and over? I said, why don't we name it? We'll drop the age down to 32 and we'll name ourselves the Lucky Lemons. Oh, everybody thought that was just a grand idea. Let's name the Lucky Lemons. So I wrote in a Sharpie marker out on the outside of the Sunday school room, I wrote, you know, Lucky Lemons. And I told them, I said, we're changing our name to Lucky Lemons. Do you know what they had the audacity to do while I was not in Sunday school last week? They changed the name of my Sunday school class. While I was not there, it was like it was like you know almost a coup of sorts. Like they're trying to, you know, it's just kind of I don't know. I'm a little miffed by it. So and listen to the goofy name that they came up with: Iron Shot Sharpens Iron. That is the dumbest name for a Sunday school class I have ever heard in my life. So I'm like, what are y'all doing? So I told Beth, I said, I, I, that does. I'm just going. I'm I'm on. I'm going to another. I'm gonna go to the old man class. I'm gonna go to the sixty and over class, you know. And I'll change their name to the Lucky Lemons. I'll go in. I'll get a little foothold, you know. You know, changing the name while I was going. Oh, and I always do the closing prayer. And the teacher said I'll do the closing prayer today. And I said, Oh, really? I said, Just cause I'm gone one week, and now y'all taking the closing prayer away from me. Unbelievable. They did let me do it because I think I had them feeling bad. But I'm like, can you believe the audacity of people? Unbelievable. Here's what's wrong with people. 20s, the mid. Let's go. Let's move this thing. Let's see what we can do. Let's see. I'm like, geez, people. 2050. Let's go 3270. I got to get me a little bit of money to pay for my commission. No, I mean, I don't know. I think they were afraid to change the name while I was there. But oh, they were just giddy about it. Just giddy. Unbelievable. Who are these people? I do love my Sunday school class. No, not to, you know, not to talk bad about them. All right, so we put that one in over there. So let's go put it in over here. Trade, MES, go to 60. And we did the. 3270. 3270. 3590, 3540. 3590, 3540. And our music minister, remember when he came, I was going to vote against him because he wore a bow tie. I was like, we do not need somebody wearing a bow tie here. And he does it all the time. But then I kind of like the guy, right? So he's kind of a bigger fellow. And uh, he's lost like 100 pounds. Anyway, he gave me a, a coffee mug. This one. It says it's Dr. Games, actually. He gave me this coffee mug. And I'm so excited about it. And now he's like teaching weight loss classes or something. And I go, oh, God, I thought we were going to hit it. I thought he liked me because I was just a naturally fun, outgoing guy. And we were going to create this great friendship. But now I'm thinking that he likes me because I'm fat and he's trying to get me signed up for his weight loss class. Unbelievable. Come on. So we got Phil for 11.25. Let's go put that in. 11.25. Micros. But that still was nice to give me a coffee cup, though. Even though if he is trying to get me in his fat class. And maybe I need to be in his fat class. I'm not saying I don't. I just think, you know. So we did the one, one, one. Oh, crap. What is this? This is going to be the 28 things. One, one, 28. One, one, 27. Yep. And our strikes are the 35, 90, 35, 40, 32, 70. Hoots. One, one, one. And 60 days. And nine, oh, okay. nine, 19, 22. And correct me if I'm wrong, I think we were 11 and a quarter. Beautiful. All right, now, 
Let's go back to our little decision tree. And our decision tree says, okay, did I make no trade? Yes, so I did. All right, do I close the trade? Well, it says, hey, Tubbs, do you have a 65% winning trade? Hmm. Why 65%? Because we figured that's the best way to close them, right? And by our back test, so let's go see. See if we got a 65% win. Well, hello, ladies. 89%, 88%. Negative 97, 90. don't tell Beth about those. Hey, Beth, hey, hon, how you doing, baby? All right, so we've got two. We've got an 89 and we've got a 90. Now, all things being equal, I'm going to close the one with the, you know, shorter expiration, but it looks like those are both in the 30-something day arena. Now, one of them is a one tranche, and the other one is a three trancher. So, you know, since I'm kind of bearish on the market, and I think we're going to get a little better opportunity, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one off. So that's my only gut thing is, you know, one is a one tranche. I could take my $50 or over here, I can take my $142. And so I'm just taking risk off since I think the market is going to go down. No fast or hard rules on that. That's one of my permissions in my trading plan. So we'll create a closing order. We're going to take a lot of risk off today. Three trunches. When do we put those on? We put those big trunches on big down days, and they work out fabulous. So now we've got to go buy three of the 3530s. Three of the 3530s, baby. Three 3530s. Where are they at? Yeah. Three 3530s. One, uno, a dos, trace for our Spanish speaking brethren out there. Oh, a dollar debit. That'd be great. Wouldn't it? A dollar debit. Feel me, baby. No. Make it less advantageous. I won't mess it up this time. So now we got to pay more. So we'll go with a dollar and a quarter. Mm hmm. Here we go. Dollar and a quarter. So we just feel. The one 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 twenty second was it? One 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 twenty second. One 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 twenty second. Come in, little baby. One 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 twenty second. We're already close to twenty Yeah, one 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 twenty second. Or what was it? A dollar and a quarter. Debit. Thirty one ninety eight. Let me sure that's right. Sometimes every now and then I need to figure out, make sure these formulas are working. Make sure that was 3198. Please be 3198. Yes, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 3198. Uh, and we closed it. Look at us making a hundred and something dollars. A hundred and nineteen seventy nine after commissions. Load up the Harley and head down to Applebee's. One more chance. Beth won't let me have a Harley. Or even a bicycle. One more chance. Let's go put that in our little thing, in our little profit calendar. One more chance. Come here, baby. Oh, what a way to start a month. Look. 229, look at us, 11979. How does daddy even continue to do it? Spot everybody. And see, here's the cool thing. Everybody and their mama's like, oh well, gosh, we're just losing tons of money. And we're like, well, we're not really. We're doing kind of good, aren't we? I like it. I like it a lot. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, mock it, boom. All right. Questions, comments. Hey Bobby, I got a quick, I got a quick question for you, Bobby. Ed the man. So um, we just rolled out to the December contract on the S&P products. Mm -hmm. So there's a big discrepancy between the ES and the micro quote and the SPX index itself, Yep. Um, which I know will converge over time because it's the time difference between now and the December contract. But do you have any additional thoughts or commentary on that? No. I mean, I, I, maybe I should look at it, and I don't even really look at that. I just didn't so, know if it made any difference on analysis. I mean, just keep I, following, 
Just yeah, keep just, tracking whatever it is you're tracking, whether it's yeah. the SPX or the ES. Yeah, I would do that. Don't worry about any, you know, differences between those. You know, they all take care of themselves over time. I don't think it's anything that we have to track. Okay. If, you're, if you're trading the micros, just keep focusing on the micros. Yeah, now, I just had a couple of people ask me. Yeah. yeah. Now, am I right on that? I have no idea. That's just what I, I never look at. Maybe I, I agree. I mean, there's not much we can do about it, so just keep going yeah. with it. I don't think it would change uh, anything that I would do. <laughs> now, let's look at this, y'all. We do have one. Uh -oh. We do have one. Make sure. What the heck? We do have one that is, you know, it's giving me a close signal here, right, because it's less than 21 days. We've got 11 days left in this trade. Let's just look at it, shall we? 11119. Let's look at the 11119. Go to the analysis tab. One 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 not take. Uh, we'll go to no all groups. Here we go. One 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 not take. Let's just look at him. Come here, little fella, and we'll hide any. Yeah, you can get her. All right. So look at here, y'all. Isn't this sweet? So here's where we are. We are in a profit tent, y'all, and. Ifs and butts, candy, nuts, and all that. We have Christmas all y'all know what the saying. We're down ten dollars and fifty cents on the trade. If we hold here in this area, you know, till October the first, we're going to be up nine hundred and three dollars. Isn't that cool? So you know, you got to ask yourself, how you feeling, baby? Now I could easily say, you know, I want to avoid any gamma res. I could take this off. It's a ten dollar loser. It'd be fifteen dollars by the time I get out of it. Uh, you know, I'm gonna leave it. Now, is that a right decision or wrong decision? I don't know. But overall, my Greeks are fine in the account. My buying power is fine. I'm, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna let this try to, uh, because what it does is you'll notice this one one nineteen should have some really good faith. Where you are one one nineteen one 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 nineteen. Come here. Look at this, y'all. Fifty six theta, right? So while all these other ones are like three dollars, nine dollars, ten dollars, this one has matured, baby, and so it's got a ton of theta. In it. So you know, I'll just kind of watch it. I mean, I don't, you know, I'm taking a little bit of a risk here, but I think it's a great risk because what's going to happen is if I hold this trade that is a loser today, then tomorrow this trade should be a winner, right? So if we go to We'll go to the 20th, all right? Go to the 20th. We're a $23.50 winner. If you go to the 21st, you're a $98 winner. So can I hold a couple of days and check it out? Yes. And the only reason that I can is because all of my other Greeks are in check. If those were not in check, I definitely close this trade. So as, as much as we want to take all of the um subjectivity out of our trading plan we can't take all of it you know we want to be objective we want to be mechanical but there are some things that i look at and go yeah what am i going to do here and this is a permission that i'm giving myself to let this one stew another day or two collect some of that juicy juicy data i do realize that gamma could potentially be working against me do i even have gamma on there gamma negative 0.04 wow what does that mean it's a good question Good question. I don't even monitor again. Gamma, gamma, gamma. All right. Any other questions? All hearts content? All right. If not, I will see y'all tomorrow or at one o'clock today for our uh, net worth session, which would be really, really good.